Richard takes a double turn at the pile of mud before his eyes. Was this for real? It seemed like something was moving, submerged in the gritty muck, but what was it? As he takes a closer look, adrenaline floods his system and he can feel a chill creep up his spine. Richard knew he had to find out what those things are. He crouches on the ground, getting closer to the mud. Then suddenly, one of the things in the mud moved more quickly and a terrible feeling hit the pit of Richard's stomach. A helping hand. For Richard James, there was nothing he loved more than helping others out. Whether it was the elderly neighbor, a heartbroken friend, or a troubled family member. Yes, Richard loved to help those in need, doing whatever he could to help them uncover all of their problems. But for Richard, he had no idea just what he would uncover today. Morning Commute On a mundane Monday morning, Richard set off for work. Armed with a fresh coffee and his favorite podcast, he began his morning commute. Once he was halfway to work, though, he saw something on a lamppost. It was a piece of paper, and its words shook Richard to his core. Poster on the lamppost. This piece of paper read, Missing Dogs, followed by a few images of dogs, some of which looked like puppies. Richard's heart dropped at the realization of the poster. He himself had lost his childhood dog when he was just eight years old, and it was something he still thought about to this day. He knew he had to help in some way, but he could have never predicted what would happen next. Sound of Crying Richard took a picture of the poster on his cell phone and sent it to a few of his friends. He carried on with his commute to work, but then, just as he turned around the corner, he heard a piercing sound coming from a nearby construction site. This sound left Richard feeling uneasy. It sounded like cries, so without hesitation, he decided to check it out. But he had no idea what was in store for him. A pile of mud. Richard walks closer towards the sounds of the cries, and he can feel his heartbeat in his throat and his pulse pounding in his temples. He walked closer towards a well, and the cries got louder. He looked inside the well, and his mouth dropped. It looked like something out of a sci-fi fantasy movie. A massive pile of mud was on the bottom of the well. Something in the mud was moving around. He knew he had to find out what it was. And so, after taking a deep breath, he crouched down and went to touch it revealing. One of the things suddenly moved, turning over, and to Richard's surprise, he could now see that they were puppies. Richard's heart drops at the sudden realization. What were they doing here? Where were the owners? He felt his blood boil and knew he had to help. He had to be quick, rescuing them. Richard pushes his hand further into the sludgy mud. The sound of squelching and squeals fade into the background as Richard does whatever he can to help these puppies. He manages to get a grip on one of them and pulls it up, hoping it's not too late. A few minutes later and Richard had managed to successfully get all the puppies out of the mud. But this wasn't over, far from it calling for. He places the puppies on his jacket on the floor and gets on his cell phone to call his friend. She only lived around the corner, but time was running out. These puppies needed medical care ASAP. Thankfully, his friend picked up the call and she set off with a big box, bottled water, and towels for the puppies. But as Richard sat with the puppies waiting for his friend, a terrible feeling hit the pit of his stomach. The same puppies? Richard all of a sudden remembered about the poster on the lamppost he had seen earlier. The one with the missing dogs and puppies. It couldn't be them, could it? If so, why were they trapped in the mud? He knew he had to get in touch with them. But first, he had to clean the puppies up and get them to a vet. There was no time to lose. Going to the vet. Once Richard's friend arrived, the two cleaned up the puppies and took them to their local vet. While the puppies were being checked, Richard rang up the people who put up the missing poster. He had to be quick. As the call rang out, Richard hoped that these puppies did belong to them. He hoped that they had a home and somewhere for them to go back to. But Richard knew all too well just how cruel life can be. Reunited at last. The person answered and Richard told them about his discovery, and it turned out that these puppies did in fact belong to the person who put the poster up. The owners immediately came to the vets and were over the moon to be reunited with their puppies. 
They thanked Richard for his kindness and generosity, but for Richard, it was just another day in the life of a good-hearted man. Have you ever come across similar heartwarming stories? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and check out JoJo Stories for more jaw-dropping content we're sure you'll love. The world is filled with stories going viral every single day. But how many of these sites can you actually follow? We understand that your day should start with positive stories, stories that resonate with you. And so we started JoJo Stories. Our mission is to create meaningful stories that cover everything from animals to anthropology, history to environment and lifestyle. The kind of content you read on our site will be one you'll want to share with your family and friends. We hope you'll join our growing family and be part of our community. Welcome to JoJo Stories. JoJoStories.com